It's Mr. Wise. We're going to talk today about chemical reactions. And what I'm going to do for you today is to demonstrate a chemical reaction. And this is a chemical reaction that you will find in your notes. I have you labeling this equation in your notes. I don't have the full equation written down here, but we'll focus on this area down here. Um, I have two reactants. A reactant is something that goes into or starts in a chemical reaction. It's what you start with. And so I have lead nitrate, which is PbNO32, and then I have potassium iodide, which is Ki. You'll see that they're both white solids. Now, in this Erlenmeyer flask, I have some of that lead nitrate dissolved in water, and in this Erlenmeyer flask, I have some of this potassium iodide dissolved in water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them. They are going to go into the chemical reaction, which reactants go into the chemical reaction and products come out. There are four signs of a chemical reaction. These are signs of a chemical change, color change, temperature change, producing a gas, sometimes in the form of bubbles, and producing a solid. And if you produce a solid out of two solutions, it would be called a precipitate. A precipitate is when a solid crystallizes out of solution. In other words, it forms, it forms crystals, it forms a solid um, as a result of a chemical reaction. So here we go with the uh, lead nitrate, the PbNO32. I'm going to pour that into the potassium iodide Ki. Now, as I pour that in there, you immediately see that it changed to a brilliant yellow color. One of the ingredients in this is Pb, which is lead. Lead used to be used in paints. Uh, now, lead, if you look at it on the periodic table, it's number 82 on the periodic table. And so it has a lot of protons and a lot of electrons, a lot of neutrons in it. So it's a very heavy metal. And lead paints tended to chip. Well, lead caused lead poisoning. And so since 1978, we have not used lead paints in homes anymore. There's a disclosure for that. Uh, but one of the things is, is that the reason that they were used in paints is because lead compounds form these brilliant yellow compounds. So as we look at this Erlenmeyer flask, and I'm going to come back with another video in just a few minutes after this has time to settle, the yellow, this is actually produced not a yellow liquid, but it produced a yellow solid. That is the new solid that was produced, the product which was produced, which is the lead iodide, the PBI2. And then we'll have a clear liquid in there, which was the potassium, or yes, potassium nitrate, KNO3. And we'll show you a picture of that in just a little bit.